Well, the thing I wanted to play around with today that I'd not really had much of a chance to like last time. Uh, I was had a lot of fun writing random numbers into uh, memory with the Master System games. So, I guess what I'm doing just right now is, uh, is I've set it so that every time I collect a ring, it writes memory to four random locations. So we can already see something weird's happened there. Um, a new feature uh, I've just added to the stream. Uh, oh God, okay, this is beautiful already. I'm walking on air and the music's gone slow. Listen to that. Oh, this is good. This, this just gives and gives, doesn't it? Oh, this is... this is amazing! Alright, everyone who has, uh... Who has chosen to tune in for this, I think you're in for a treat. This is magic! What on earth is going on? This is beautiful! Got invincibility, that'll help me. Wow. So yeah. Wow. Okay, this is this is so weird. I wonder if I can beat the level at all. I wonder if those Nope, I died. Let's see. Hello, uh Indie Game Yaks. Thanks for coming along to the stream. Uh, so yes, uh, I have the little instructions on the side in the chat if you want to write in specific things or to change the effects that are on screen right now. I'm quite enjoying this one of writing random numbers into memory every time uh, that you, uh, every time that I collect a ring and just seeing what weird things come out of it. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. I have to slow down a bit because I don't want to go right to the end of the level. There we go. Because then we wouldn't get to see what is that? What are those weird square things down there? That's lovely. Oh! That just killed me. Whatever I did just killed me. <laughs> this is great. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm feeling... I'm, I wonder, like... So I was... Last time I uh, streamed this stuff and there was less stuff in there. So you couldn't type in specific memory values into RAM. Um, but with that version, like, I was playing a lot of Mega Drive games. And Mega Drive games are great, you know, I like Mega Drive games, that's what I grew up with. Well, I grew up with Master System and then Mega Drive. Uh, you don't, you don't need to do the, um, the quotation marks. Um, but it shouldn't have a negative effect if you do. So, yeah, you don't need to, um... So, did that... Yes, you have activated effect 12, which is going to switch the game every time I get a ring. Um, so you can type in, yep, yeah, effect followed by a number. Oh, and it, it must have been from the rings counting down there. Um, it's got me changing. So now, and hopefully you can see on the screen, it's saying that the game switching effect will now take place when I connect Puyo, which is a... A new thing. Um, those uh, effects where I like where rings aren't a thing, and so I've had to detect. Okay, well, what's the other thing that I'm detecting um, that's going to be the thing that triggers the cool effect? Um, yeah, it used to. Um, the magic box used to just write the word uh, like ring for all of them, but now I've made it. Uh, able to tell like what game has been switched to and then so it says on the little so just above my head there on the little uh hint screen it's saying uh match uh match for puyo where before it would have said uh something else so if i if i show you i there we go let's match some Puyo and it's going to switch over to another game and this is a game with rings in it so it should say up at the top uh, 
switch game when the player gets a ring. So, effect 4 is the same as effect 12. Um, so I think it, yeah, there's four active effect, like, possible effects in, in this game. So, and it's, uh, looping them. I should probably, I should probably, like, say when I type that up on the screen. Um, ah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So I want to see how it, uh, turns out. But what I might do is I might switch it back to, uh, oh, we've got... Ah, effect three. So this is going to remove some color every time I get a ring. So this would be nice and fun. Um, and so, yeah, the, like the big four Sonic games, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles, um, have a few more effects in them because things like... Um, so what one of the effects is uh, that... Uh, oh, uh, trying to find it. Like... You can, it'll change Sonic's velocity every time he gets a ring. Um, so yeah, wow, okay. I turned the volume up really high on this uh, effect. So some of the effects have kind of, you can choose, oh, how strongly do I want this to occur? Um, and this one I've got set quite high and it's amazing the difference it makes. I mean, I like the beautiful imagery that it creates. Look at that. It's just like this column of darkness. Now, there is a kind of... I can... There, I have no idea where I am in the level now. Okay, I'm in the big tube going up. Have I gone all the way to the top? Or have I fallen back down to the bottom? I think I've fallen back to the bottom. Oh, wow. So now it's just one line. Um, what I can do is I can change the effects in this and have it so that these color healing effects uh, will will heal over time. So if I set that to medium, I think we should see colors will slowly start to return to the game. There we go. To make it stay playable. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I am. Okay, I'm at the loop the loops before the big tube going upwards. So if I keep on going, I should get to the top of the tube and the boss is about to appear and it comes down and it fires its flames. And now I collect these rings, which sucks the color away. Uh, this is the bit where the level's been set on fire, so now it's all burning colors. So I've had colors removed from the game. I should make a note to myself to allow this setting to reset after it's been deselected because um, I had a problem that one of the effects will uh, change which uh, graphics layers are visible. And wow, it's, it's gone into a beautiful, beautiful column. I think those are like bubbles coming up is what you see these little pulses going up. So I am playing kind of from memory and feel at the moment and just generally knowing that I generally need to go to the right. Uh, yes, I will be making this available to others to stream. So, I mean, my plan is um, that the um, if, it's, if it seems to be good enough today, which, I mean, it's looking promising, um, I'll stick this up uh, on my website after this stream. Um, if you go to, um, I mean, I guess you have my Twitter. If you look at the top post on my Twitter, you can see where you can go, go to download the emulator that I do this with. Um, and I need to figure out where I even am to get out of this. Oh, I think I know where I am now. I don't, there we go. Right, so there's a button I can, oh, that's a spring. I am not where I thought I was. Um, but yeah, if you go to the top of my Twitter page, uh, you'll see where you can download it from. And so that version 14 is out at the moment and that's got stuff for online versus play. Um, version 15, if this is good enough, then I'll put out version 15, which has all of these features in it and uh, like all of the Twitch, Twitch features in it. Uh, I cannot figure out where I am. I am glad I've got it able to heal. 
Oh, okay. I... Okay, I know where I am now. This is just before the boss. I picked up the fire shield just before the boss. This one I know. Okay. So this is going... To, I am... Usually I just, like, ram into this. Ah, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Usually I just kind of ram into this boss, but because I can't... Have I... Oh, I've lost my shield already. Because I can't, like, tell quite where everything is, I'm having to be a bit more tentative. So yeah, feel free to um, type things in to change the effects. Or if I put in... If you type a message beginning with an exclamation mark now, it'll just pick a random effect from the ones that are available. So if you do want to change the effects that are going on at the moment, just uh, just do that. And this is going to be interesting. I've got This is a special stage. Okay, this is going to be hard. Um, has that... Well, yes, that's going to randomize my velocity every time I get a ring. So I'm going to reset the Lost Color so you get to enjoy that feature in all of its glory. And you'll see when I collect a ring, and you can see my cursor on the screen, there we go. And yeah, you saw that, when I collect a ring, I get sent in random directions. So, if I, you'll begin to see it. As I get to these big bunches of rings, you'll get me seeing, like, thrown all about the place. Because I thought it would be slightly more fun once I've done it, so that it will usually, if you are going like horizontally it will make you go the opposite direction but it also triggers when tails picks up rings uh so tails can mess me up so another nice feature of this is i can change the trigger so instead of randomizing velocity when i get a ring i can randomize the velocity when you type anything so now if you type anything into twitter uh, into twitter into twitch chat you should see sonic serve uh, velocity change on screen so uh, you can fling Sonic about the place so if you uh, if you want to play around with that just uh, type on into chat also do let me know if my volume's okay I'm always uh, like because uh, it's there we go Bouncing off the screen like that in such magnificent beauty. So I am kind of curious to see what happens when, like, you know, I, I think Sonic 1's... Actually, I might switch to Sonic 1 for this because the Sonic 1 boss stages are really fun for that kind of stuff. Like, because it means the audience can sort of fling Sonic into a hole. Aha, super. Hi, Amber. Uh... Do you prefer... It's Amber Cyprene, isn't it? And I'm going to ask if you prefer Amber or Amber Cyprene. Uh, first name or whole name. Uh, but welcome. Welcome to the stream. So right now, everything you type in... Oh! Everything you type into chat is going to change what layers are visible on screen. So this is going to be fun. I see. Yeah, thank you for clarifying, uh, Amber. So yeah, so right now I can't see Sonic. Uh, so if you type something into chat, it'll to toggle whether I can see the background and the foreground, just the background or just the foreground. So I've got no foreground at the moment, no sprites. Um, so this is going to be interesting because I've got to remember where everything is. So he's gonna, oh, there he is. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's all right. I mean, I have my surname, uh, Hson, and people mispronounce it all the time. So I'm used to have it. Like, I, I kind of... Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I always appreciate it when people, uh, like, pronounce my name right. So uh, I like to make an effort to get other people's names pronounced right as well.
but yeah uh so yeah this is uh this is going to get interesting um obviously it's nice and straightforward right now when i can see everything but this is going to be a sort of test of my ability to memorize what these levels are like um so uh yeah i i mean a while ago i was playing around with uh weird hacky stuff like playing trying to play the entire sonic one without being able to see the sprites and that was really hard like green hill zone i could basically do apart from like the boss took me a good half an hour in green hill zone um <laughs> thanks for coming along indie game indie game yaks uh thank you for coming along and yeah feel free to like download it uh for yourself um like i say i'm probably going to put it out uh like publicly after this stream uh because it does seem to be working which is honestly i was not expecting so that is good but anyway as i was saying with sonic one it uh it got really uh yeah the first boss was the like first hard bit because not being able to see where Sonic is and where Robotnik is and where the Wrecking Ball is. Ah, awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks very much. Um, but yeah, not being able to see where the, um, where the bosses are is, uh, like, the Wrecking Ball and Robotnik. Like, that got really difficult. I like that I can see, like, the fall... The floor that you can fall through there is, like, still comes up as a sprite, so I know where to go. Uh, I also like that you can see spikes that are hidden in the ground. Um, but yeah. And I, anyway, getting onto Marble Zone was an absolute nightmare, because in Marble Zone, I just could not, like remember where everything was like green hill zone i kind of had from uh on memory and i don't know if it was from just having played it a lot and it being a relatively simple level that you can just kind of go in one direction and generally be okay this bit's gonna roll okay i can remember how to get through this bit without really thinking about it that's nice but i can feel this getting slightly more complicated now <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm, I'm special. Nah, oh, I missed my chance to get in the special stage. Ooh, I didn't know Celeste had an invisible variant. But I can imagine that being really fun. Yeah, so with, yeah, the Marble Zone, basically, I kind of got to, uh, I think I got to act three in the course of about two hours oh wow oh god that's fascinating oh i love that kind of stuff like that is like right up my street but like i i don't know i always like these kind of weird game challenges where you sort of you change one thing about the game and you see what that does to the the rest of it So, with the right commands, um, what you need to do is, it's the, if you were to write the word right, followed by a two-digit hex number, and then two followed by a four-digit hex number, um, then that will write stuff in. Uh, so, again, I am looking for like ways I can make that a bit more simple, because it's really hard to communicate. Um, but it's really, it's, uh, yeah, it's looking for... This bit's, like, never used to be hard. <laughs> or at least I don't remember it being hard since, like, I, you know, since I first got the game in the 90s. But, uh... But doing it slightly on memory. I know what it is. It's because I can't see quite when I'm on the ramp. Ah! Okay, this is fun. Uh, you can also put in two four-digit numbers, and it'll write your number to basically everywhere within these two uh, spaces. So... Okay. 
Okay, I f I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I can't. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Mm, that's so close. So close. I'm gonna get this eventually. Because he doesn't spin dash when he's on the ramp. He jumps when he's on the ramp. So, there we go. And then fall down to the left. Uh, are there spikes? There's no spikes down there. I thought there were spikes down there that I had to jump over. Oh, and I thought there were spikes there as well. I'm going to get this. This is going to This is going to be my big win for the day, I think. So yeah, that has written something. And there's a checkpoint. I did not realise there was a checkpoint there. I don't know if it's better that I, like, if I switch off the other effect so you can just see that effect in isolation. It's also a bit of a, like, I know, <laughs> this is really hard when you can't see. This is a fun challenge. I'm enjoying this. Um, yeah, so an example would be, uh, I wonder, like, if I, what I am briefly going to do, because I can set this back to where it is to do the um, thing. So, uh why do I have save states? I wonder if I can go back to that. Okay. I think I've saved a state. Um, so I've got to switch this back to normal. And hello, Bimovo. If I type in, I have to remember where the, like, if I write in, write zero, zero to, um, what that's going to do so there we go that's going to send me falling through the floor um because i just unloaded the map the entire level from memory um quite why i did that i don't know oh awesome so i mean the invisible layer stuff is already in the magic box so if you uh if you have a go and switch on the um uh, it's basically, it's under the kind of the visuals tab. And then fortunately, new feature, I can rewind. So it, if the game crashes, it works again. So basically what Earwigfest just did is replaced all the memory on the cartridge with the number zero. Uh, so yeah, under visuals, it's like called... Uh, like hide layers or something i don't know what i'm getting stuck behind there that's i can't remember what's oh it's a wall that's what it is so i need to spin dash through that wall so spin dash through these fall down the hole that's another thing that makes the first boss against robotnik God, super hard is is that you can't see where Sonic is relative to the screen. So, in, uh... Ah, right, yes. So, yes, one thing I would, I haven't got round to yet is making it so that, because you know with the multiplayer, um, uh, getting a ring will change your opponent's, like, you know, you'll do things to your opponent. And with all this stuff I've added in, I can make it, like, it would be very simple to add in. I just need to add the menu options for it, to be honest, um, to make it so that you can toggle your opponent's visible layers or you can write data to your opponent, like, random locations in RAM. So, uh, yeah, those are exciting things. And a nicey thing, so I'm turning the the visible layers back on uh so it's just the memory so you can play around with fun memory stuff um i'm trying to remember where 
There is a... I know what I'll do. I'm going to just quickly... Uh, Sonic 3 RAM editing. I'm just going to go... I'm just going to post a link in chat to say... Uh, because here are all the interesting RAM locations for Sonic 3. So if I type these in... And basically, on that sheet, you should see all the interesting, like, uh, memory locations. So say if you write... Uh, hey, Argic! Thanks for coming! So I'm gonna... Place that in again. <laughs> and, yeah, so basically that's got a list of things. So if I say, um, write, uh, let's pick a number, 0328008FFF, this is going to replace every block of level with whatever is at location number three in memory, and that's what that was. Um... So, oh, I could... I need to make, like, random, like, a keyword or something. So, if you write... If you say, write random to blah, 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 it'll, uh... It'll write, uh... Write random numbers into those memory locations. That would be nice. And maybe a thing... In the stream thing, I could add something so that for games where there is kind of existing data on what's in RAM, so basically the big four Sonic games, if it posted up like a link in chat, um, oh, so I don't know what E37F corresponds to. I'm curious to see what it's uh, broken. Nor do I know what C F E F is. That's interesting. I'm waiting to like. I'm hoping some odd stuff starts to get broken. Let's find out. Oh, that crashed it. So that's a nice thing. Fortunately, if I hold down uh, left start and B, I can rewind to back where I state. Where it, uh, it broke. <laughs> where it doesn't break. So that was uh, basically, like, because hacking around with memory and stuff is really fun. But a lot of the time it just causes it to crash. So I added in a rewind hotkey. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Um, I think if you pick numbers between... Uh, ooh... Hello, Slapper Pow 7, by the way. Thanks for coming along. Hello. So, what I could do, it, uh, if you. I'll switch on the uh, shuffle toggling layers when the audience types anything. I'll switch that back on. If people want to, if they want to, there we go. If they want to, uh, if they want to uh, go back. Ooh, that looked like you were writing stuff into uh, into the level data. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I wonder what bytes caused that to crash. Ooh, we modified the save slots. I wonder what that's going to do. Like, I wonder if that would be visible. I might beat this. Oh no, I'm playing on. I'm not playing on save. But oh, I know the level select code for this game, so that's that's fine. But yeah, uh, what was I thinking of? I, I, don't know, I was thinking of something weird random stuff. But yeah, um... It should get interesting now with the layer toggles, because we're going to come up against a boss. And when there's a boss, um, not being able to see where 
everything is relative to each other becomes like it's fine without the uh it's fine when you can see the sprites but i'm going to give you a, a, a little second to type in something so it gets to the point and i don't know that was probably uh some of the ram editing caused those nice weird there we go now this is going to be difficult so now I can't see where Robotnik is at all, and I have to go on memory. <laughs> so I can change it so that it's uh, when you type in a specific thing as well. So when you type in, uh, let's say, layers or something, that should uh, change it. And I have no idea where I am. Literally no... Oh, there I am. Okay, so I've got a glimpse of myself. That's enough to get a few hits in. That's good. Oh, I'm dead. Hello, Tom88. Nice for coming along. Okay, I think I have, like, no rings now as well. This is going to be interesting. Yep, I had no rings. But he does, when you, when you hear the fan go, that's him, uh... That's him vacuuming up the water. Sonic is never dead. Sonic lives on within us all. <laughs> this is all about doing wrong things. It's about... I don't believe there's such thing as breaking a game. Um, only creating unseen beauty. There we go. But yeah, I was just uh, saying to Amber earlier um, that uh, that I tried a while back to play through um, the entirety of Sonic 1 uh, without being able to see the sprites. And it's really hard. Um, Green Hill Zone was fine up until the boss, and then it went downhill from there. Um, but it's really a really, like fun, weird challenge to do, and you can do it with the existing magic box. Um, but basically, uh, with the magic box, uh, like, um, in terms of versions and things, uh, shame when it crashes. I was expecting beauty. I, mean, I guess that is one of the things with these, uh, things is that, and it's one of the things, like, from a kind of, like, that I'm trying to figure out um, is how do I make it so that <laughs> it's nice when you just get that beautiful ringing sound or something like uh, the angelic choir within the Mega Drive has come to life <laughs> and hello uh, uh, SM Zachnik thanks for coming on the stream let's rewind and hope we can get back. Okay, I think it was able to go. It had save states going just far enough back in time, so maybe I need to make it either save more or save less frequently because I don't want it to take up too much uh, uh, hard disk space. Ooh, I have not. I've so yeah, I. Not try. I've still not tried Sonic 3 Air. I really feel like I should. Um, uh, and yeah, Sonic. What killed me? I wonder what that was. I wonder if that's something. Uh... <laughs> Aha! There we go. That's what I like. Rings. And then FE21 uh, is uh, controls the, the high byte for rings. So that's like, if you type in a stupid big number into that, I'll end up with a stupid number of rings. But yeah, Sonic Mania, because I've got the Switch version of that. But if I play with the... Um, the um, PC version, I'll get to explore all the mods. So I should do that because there's probably a ton of awesome stuff that I haven't tried yet. Like, 
Well, I'm a big fan of kind of ran like randomizers type stuff. Like the only randomizers I've played so far have been uh, uh, have been Ocarina of Time and uh, wait, Pokemon Crystal. What killed me there? I wonder, like, I wonder if something weird's been... I wonder if something's got written into the level there. Right. I... <laughs> okay, so that's cool. Something just reset the level there. Oh, fantastic. I want to see it again. Type it in again. Do it again. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Okay, my like my favorite game for weird random stuff so far has been Sonic One on the Master System. So I'm going to switch it. Uh, I'm gonna stick on the uh, Master System ones and just uh, see what we get in there. Um, because I had a lot of fun with like. There's some really weird effect effects in Sonic One that you can get. I don't even know what's happened to a car, so I'm not sure if that's me or if that's something that's uh, already been uh, written in. Uh, I mean, it could be from keeping RAM between game switching. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So... Ooh, that's weird. It should be able to detect that this is a Master System game, and because of that, it knows that uh, that RAM only goes up to, uh, like, 2,000. So that's, okay, that's something I need to make a note to add in. Um, I hope you can hear my pen drawing. It's uh, evidence that I'm actually writing stuff down. Um, oh, I know what it might be. Uh, so just uh, detect game is uh, SMS. There we go. Right, so I've written that down. Uh, Sonic was clearly impatient with me. If I switch to another game, so, and it should from that point... I'm going to write, write, to, okay, and now, because it's been switched by, uh, by a different thing in the tracker, now it knows it's sending the right things, although, honestly, I could still just do that in the emulator, this is me, like, thinking aloud now, um, uh, but yeah, what I'm thinking, like, because basically the master system, um, has like an eighth of the memory of, uh, the, um, of the Mega Drive. So you can type in stuff, like, it was letting you type in stuff that weren't actually addressing any memory that's actually on the console. Hello, Brian Caden. And... Yeah, it's, uh, th like, for a long time, this was also the only Sonic game I'd ever completed. This was, uh, um, this was, like, Sonic 1 was my first introduction to game consoles, uh, when I was five. And then I think my brother got this for Christmas the following year, and this was the first Sonic game I could, uh, I could, uh, complete. But yeah, um, also I notice I've got it set up to crop the size of the screen off or something, that's weird. That's, that's me being silly. I wonder if I can just trans edit that so you get the whole screen just the way it's meant to be. Might look a wee bit funny, but oh well. There we go. Now you've got a whole 
<laughs> slightly weird widescreen view. Ah, I see. It's okay. So that's a. S I'm gonna put in what you were trying to, what you wanted to type in there, because I realise that's another thing that. Okay, I need to bound uh, those. Uh, dead of percent rat on two numbers. That's something I need to do. Okay, so what Amber tried to do there, what they tried to do was, as in what they wanted to do, so I'm going to type it in, <laughs> because that's a, not a bug on my part, but an oversight on my part. That's what you're trying to create, um, Amber. Sorry for the... Um, Oh, but it reset itself. That wasn't me. But yes, so... Uh, what was I saying? Yes. So really, yeah, that's something I need to do because... Because it goes up to doesn't include 2000 it was turning the number 2000 into the number zero and it what you wanted to do was up to 2000 but like yeah so i've made a note to myself to actually deal with that number properly uh so um but fortunately um that's that's why i do these tests to flag stuff like this up so thank you very much for that Turquoise Hill 2. Um, yeah, so I might try just typing some stuff in now. Uh, let's see, right. Um, I don't know what this is going to do. It might do, it might do literally nothing. Um, <laughs> that's part of the magic of this. I guess that's uh, where like things like Sonic Retro start to become useful because I can start to get, like if it's got data on the memory addresses. I don't like, I you know I guess for what they don't have, I can do a bit of detective work and find out um, by poking around in RAM. And that is the fire alarm going off, but it's and it's just finished going off. Friday is testing day for the fire alarm, so. Uh, Uh, do, do, do. Uh, two suggested values. Uh, sorry, I've just got to check my messages at the moment. Da, da, da. Okay, back in the room. Uh, so what I might do for to make weird memory stuff start to happen is have it so that whenever I collect a ring, it's going to write random numbers into memory and we might start to see some beauty start to appear. Like that. Like that zero. What is that zero? Why is it there? Who put it there and why? What do they dream of? I'm glad. I was a little worried picking up that spare ring was going to um, crash the game. But onwards and upwards. The adventure continues. So I seem to remember Gigalopolis having a lot of rings in it. So this could generate some interesting effects. Right. 
Let's see where I can get to. That's... It's also... Oh, okay. Rings in the tunnel. Rings in the tunnel is good. Let's see what gets created. I have to say, this is surprisingly resilient so far. Sonic, like, Sonic 1. I was playing around... Oh, I've fallen through the floor. That's good. But Sonic 1 was going... Oh, wow. I am... What is... Why am I jumping like that? Why am I falling, like, have I set his, what's that, is that the level, or is that the, <laughs> I just fell through the pipe, and then got really fast. <laughs> okay, this is fun, this is fun, I'm enjoying this. This is very strange. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, okay, I, I go through the tunnel to get lots of rings. So at the moment, these ten ring boxes only count as, like, oh, you're supposed to spin through that. Okay. There we go. Okay, that, that is some good, that is some good ram there. What? <laughs> I think you've just, uh, drawn a bunch of white cubes into the into the level hmm i don't know how to get out of this and the kill sonic function doesn't work but hopefully i've got enough i can go back in time far enough to get out of that okay i'm free i'm free Ah, that is, this is useful to know. The layers thing still works on the master system. I was actually a little worried it wouldn't, and I could not see what was there. So this, uh, oh, okay, master system games without layers will be interesting because, like, like the Mega Drive ones, uh, I guess like Sonic Chaos, I I guess I generally consider as quite straightforward of a game. It's it's relatively easy, but without being able to see all the layers, this is going to become very interesting. So I'm on a ramp. I think I know where I am. I'm up in the top right of the level. Mm, okay. I don't know what that was. Okay, that's me going through a loop the loop. I'm kind of just holding right and running now. There we go. I know what that is. That is a signpost. <laughs> so that I can, that I can, uh, that I can figure out my way around. I like the fact that that screen is just a, uh, is just a blue thing. Thank you very much. You have saved me. <laughs> Freedom from the layers. <laughs> the sprites are out to get us. Destroy them. I mean, they're could be an effect where it does, it can hide the backgrounds, but not the sprites. That might be something different to do with how it renders. Look at all of these holes. Okay, this is interesting. I wonder, I want to see if I've done something wacky to the level layout. Listen to the music. I think I feel like I mean I haven't got both earphones in, but I feel like we've lost a couple of instruments. Yeah, we have. We've lost a couple of instruments. That's cool. <laughs> it's nice when he falls into that little hole. I wonder what 
triggered that music. Um, Amber, slap a pout. Write that in again. I want to see what, like, one of you triggered that music. And that's cool. Not even sure what that music is. It might be something from the special stage. Oh, try to trigger the bad ending. Ah. Ah, so have you have you found a listing of memory locations online or something? Oh, super. Oh, would you be able to share the link in chat? That'd be awesome. Ooh. So that crashed, but the music's... Ah, cool. Thank you very much. Oh, God. That is the most amazing thing. That is immediately going into my uh, bookmark spot. But the music's going super fast for some reason. Gotta go fast. I wonder what's causing I wonder if that's the thing that's it's like um like speed boots mode is on or something. Let's all take a moment for this beautiful music. <laughs> and there's that half a ring floating in the sky. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Okay, this is amazing. Good find. It's not just a sky ring, it's a sky half ring. It's like... Uh... Sky banana. I believe in you, sky banana. Ooh, special stage! Yay! I passed! I passed! <laughs> Victory is mine! <laughs> it's still on... Oh! What the... Okay, this is... That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to reverse out of this because I don't think I can get Sonic out of it. Unfortunately, the... The... Unfortunately, the the um, kill Sonic command, like, built in, down, start, and B, uh, only works in the big four Sonic games. It doesn't work in the Master System ones yet. So that's something I need to uh, look into. But, oh, this is special. This is really special. Thank you for finding that, Slapper Pow. Oh, wh where did I go? <laughs> This is magical. Oh. Oh, it reset. But it's still going super fast, so that's good. Let's get some tails in there. Okay, this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this. Final boss is coming. <laughs> the, the UI's gone off the screen like it's the final boss. That That's weird. I'm going to try not collecting rings to see what happens as a result of that. He says, what fell out of the sky? What on earth is going? Oh, 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 something's... That's the boss. That's that little bit of... There's a little ch chunk of boss on the screen. That's amazing. Okay, this is new. 
I wonder if I can get that to happen again. I was playing around briefly with Sonic 1 and I managed to get the boss music from that to appear. And the screen started scrolling. So I wonder if it must be set into boss mode or something. Secret platform. Oh! I'm in a minecart! <laughs> oh my god! Go Tails! Ride that minecart to victory! You beautiful, beautiful creature! <laughs> the signposts all the way up there. I'm glad Tails can fly. <laughs> okay, this is a... Oh! I beat the game! Time! Is that... Thank you, thank you. Um, I mean, I, I owe this all to my fans. Um, they've been uh, supporting me through thick and thin. Um, oh, new music! Um, yeah, my fans have been supporting me through thick and thin, you know, um, and obviously, uh, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, cool people in the audience helping me out right until the data to help me get through this, so thank you, you know. <laughs> this is, this is amazing. Um, now, the question is... I, oh, which game to play next? I'm thinking more um, Master System. I'm wanting to go to the first one and see if what we can do in that. So I'm going to toggle if I can remember which ones are which because I can't see the entire thing on the screen. And why, why were the colors all messed up there? I don't know why. I had that in Sonic 1 as well. Oh, yeah, oh no, that's meant to happen. <laughs> I'm doing God's work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I like to... I like to believe. <laughs> this is my calling in life. Destroyer of worlds. Destroyer of hedgehog worlds. Let's get a checkpoint. I'm gonna come up towards some rings now. There we go. I can already see something has happened down there. Some weird flower arrangement. Oh. Can I stand on that? No, it's just a ceiling. I'm gonna I've got to get the Chaos Emerald, very important. If I can remember where it is. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> you just wipe memory completely clean. That said, with Sonic Chaos, after long enough, it did like reset. So, but I don't want to like melt your ears off with this. So let's. Uh, Oh, that's interesting. Is that not bringing up the menu? Maybe it is. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to restart the box. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, I wonder what happened there. Because usually I can, uh, even if it crashes, I can bring up the box menu. I wonder if some of the colors were messed up or something. That's something for me to look into. Okay, so back to Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Master System. Oh, I know what's causing that. It's because I use, there is, I always have a color that I like use in the menus. So if I appear in something from the menus, I wonder if I reset the game, it'll, no. Like, color zero will always be messed up or something. 
on the master system if I bring up the menu. Oh well, I'll live with it. I mean, it's not the weirdest thing we're going to see in this stream, so... Uh... Let's see, what, what will the Sonic Gods give us next? Oh, a little, uh, little bit of uh, camera magic there. Let's see what else we can find. The camera scrolling is a bit weird, but I don't know if that's like normal weird or not normal weird. Wait, something just... A ring fell out of something there. Listen to that. I'm on an auto-scroller now. Whatever happened was beautiful. I don't know what it was, but it's, it's my new god. <laughs> Everything I want from life and more. Oh my god, this is... This is just delightful. It's like one instrument's going... Like, slower than the others or something. Listen. It's just like one instrument that's just totally out of the others. This will be my new theme song. Oh! Something weird happened with the camera there. Oh, and I got inverse colours for a moment. <laughs> What's that beautiful stripe? I wonder if that's Beemovo, um, because they are all in a beautiful long line, and I reckon that's all different, like, memory, like, like they're all, like, a pattern of memory locations. I was distracted. <laughs> Ooh, what's this beautiful? It's like an art gallery. I'm going to rewind back to the art gallery. What is that? It's like... There's a little bug face there. Oh! Oh, the signpost is gone. <laughs> the signpost has been despawned. <laughs> oh, it could be that the signpost has been turned into that. Okay, interesting. I'll have to go back and see if I can humanely restart the level. <laughs> okay, this is fun. There we go. <laughs> six, 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 six. Uh, yes, I'm. T oh, what was that? I am taking notes as I'm going on. Basically, things that I kind of think of. Oh, I want to add that, or I want to fix that, or I want to change that. Um, those are all going into my notes. I'm trying to figure out where the level layout is. Ooh, something Beam Over triggered there caused the game to reset. Something within that uh, that range causes the game to reset. And the colours are back to normal. I can't remember. I don't know when that happened. That's cool. <laughs> I am sealing Sonic now. Oh, <laughs> all right, no camera. <laughs> I don't know what killed me. 
I guess I wasn't supposed to see it. That was weird. When I pressed... So it just kind of waited for me. And when I pressed uh, pressed a button, it reset uh, to the front screen. Oh, that's weird. I can't jump up there. Is that a bit of thing or... No, okay. I thought it was ring behaviors. Might... Because it's put a wall there. Magic. Okay, this is nice and odd. Um, I'm enjoying this. This is... There I go to layers. All right, this is a test of memory. This is like, how well did I uh, commit this to memory when I was five? Okay, that's it. You grab the boots, get to the top of the hill, and then roll down the hill. If you know where you are. <laughs> No, he's... Oh, oh, wait. God, I have no idea where I am. No, navigating the maze in the next level. That's... Oh, I almost had it. I almost had... There's a ring down there. Well, now look at me. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I think the graphical layers only... Uh, they only change... Like on the on screen. Sorry, if they're off screen and they kind of load in. Um, not sure there's anything I can add to make that happen, even though that would be really cool. But I think Sonic wants to be reset. Wish that little hedgehog luck. Let's see what happens next. Oh. This this is how you win. This is uh this is award winning speedrunning strats for me right now. Except did you see that? The I'm I'm watching this back on the replay. You just caught a glimpse of it. <laughs> okay, so we know uh we know where the level layout is now. Uh, I, I do need to add a right random to, like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there, there goes the music. I think, well, what happened is that I think the... I'm just stuck here spinning. I think the location of the checkpoint um, got uh, stuck. Uh, that, thank you. You've saved me. <laughs> Speaking of underflow, let's let's overflow. Yeah, Rooftop Sonic. Yeah. Who said this game is hard? Easy peasy. Okay, now I need... <laughs> well, that was a good way to kill me. Um... Rewind back to my death. At least the level's normal-ish now. But yeah, no, that seemed to work out interestingly. I would be up for seeing more weird stuff being written into the level layout. Like that. So remember, you can type in two numbers if you want it to go over a range of numbers. Hear that beautiful ringing. Eggman just hung up. Yes! End of a level. I stand on the floating sky and an extra life. How cool am I? Living the dream. Living the absolute dream. Alright, what's, uh, what's Green Hill 2 got in store for me? I like that it refreshes the colours after you... Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh, there's the TV. I was wondering, like, where's the shield in the TV? It's all the way up there. I wonder... I wonder what moved that. That's... 
This is interesting. I am enjoying this. Well, let's see. I wonder... Can I get a Chaos Emerald? In this? That's... that's... Oh! Now, if I stay on this... And then I appear below the exclamation point marker. There we... Oh! That was perfect. That was, like, perfect landing on that. Also, I didn't know the exclamation mark thing actually responded to gravity. Like, it landed on something with collision detection there. Which is, uh... I didn't know it would do. Hello, Oprah. Thanks for coming along. And hello, the Who 87 Why did I... I thought that was the way down to the shield or extra life or whatever. I don't even need extra lives. I've got infinite life switched on. Um, this is like me going on autopilot, but just not good enough autopilot. All right. Okay. Do you think those will kill me? No, they're rings. Oh my God. I've got rings in a boss level. All right. Don't want to touch anything, please. I want to see like, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, if you put in... It's got to be four digits, um, Aliat. If you put in four digits for the location, so... Um, so, if I... I'll just type it in for you. Right, FC20321-0421. And that... So, if you type in like that, that'll uh, get the desired effect. It's really hard to figure out a kind of, like, syntax that will work with people. Ah, right, okay. So, can anyone figure out what was the thing that caused it to, um... See, I've got to, like, avoid Robotnik. He's going to come down eventually. I don't want to hurt him. I just want... Just want rings in the collision detection, because I want to finish a... I mean, he's probably just going to hurt me, but I've never... Like, you're not supposed to have rings in the boss levels. That's the magic of them. But I think... I, I mean, I could just let him... Okay, wait, let's... Yeah, the level's going to reset, and we'll try doing that again, Slapper Pow. Uh, I'll just copy-paste what you put into chat there. Uh, there we go. And let's see what hat we wrought. Was that the magic... Were those the magic words? Come on, fancy symbols, yes! Rings! Weird rings! Weird spring spike rings, that's what I need. I just want to watch, just want to watch Robotnik hurt me, that's all. Come down and hurt me, Robotnik. Come on. There you go, down he comes. Yay! I survived getting hit by Robotnik. Okay, I want to do that again. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to finish the level with rings. The level tiles are listed in memory from top to bottom. That would make sense, yes. Good find. Let's... Rewind out of that. I'm desperate to see. I'm desperate to see. Ah, no! Okay, write it back in. Write it back in. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, I just, I just want to... I don't know why. I really, really want to beat a boss with rings. <laughs> There's no ground there. <laughs> so I jumped through the weird mystery rings. Oh, that was this is this is this is spectacular. Okay, this is amazing. I am All right, let's uh spawn in some rings. Oh, it's rings on the ground and I can't jump. I can't jump, I can't spin. I'm stuck here. Super high numbers in the data just make glitchy rings. That sounds about right. 
Oh, this might... <laughs> I'm so plotting. Robotnik doesn't come down low enough. I need the audience to save me. I can't spin. I can't jump. And Robotnik doesn't come down low enough to hit me. Watch this. And... Oh! I did get... And now I'm just stuck floating. Oh. Can I rewind? Oh, this is me rewinding, by the way. To try and get back to a state where... Yeah, okay, that's as far back as I can go. So, yeah. Uh... Oh! Whatever happened there seemed to work. Um... So, SM Zachnik, um, if the the big numbers are four digits long, um, and hello, BizVision. Welcome to the chat. And, okay, so we've got some beautiful stuff going on up there. There's Dr. Robotnik. I swear at some point I managed to hit him while he was up all the way up there. I don't know if that's actually possible, but I swear I did it. So, uh, yes, SM Zachnik, uh, I will edit that for you and show you the example. Because uh, that will have the effect that you're going for. It needs to be the the numbers, like the first number needs to be two digits long and the second one needs to be four digits long. Is uh, uh, That's how it works. But I can see some fun stuff up there. So we've got a bridge. The first one isn't the auto scroller. So uh, oh, I got chaos emeralds. I got thank you whoever gave me what looks to be hundreds of chaos emeralds. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go so supersonic now. More supersonic than you could possibly imagine. I'll be like. Terrific Sonic. What's better? What's better than Super and Hyper? Ultrasonic. <laughs> so number sixty-nine um, seems to be clouds, and oh, we've got waterfalls. I was like, okay, that Badnik there. I always thought that Badnik looks weirdly fleshy. Like it doesn't look robotic. Um, like, to me, that looks... It looks like a kind of pink flesh monster. Um... Oh! Oh, and we got auto-scroller! Okay, so Act 1 is now the auto-scroller. This is new. I'm having... a lot of fun with this. What the hell is that? What is that monster? And how can I talk to it? How can I talk to the monster? Oh. Where am I now? Oh, okay, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to need to fall back down to get to the signpost. Although I wonder if the auto scroller will stop at some point. Or if I'll have to. Like, I can see the world below. Will the auto scroller stop at some point? Like, when we get to the end of the level? Or will I have to find a way of dropping down into the. <laughs> into the signpost? Um, and the answer was we life found a way. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. This is, uh, we're ba making beautiful magic together. Oh, I just teleported. That was magic. Was that Aliat? I want to try, I'm going to type that into chat what you did to Aliat. Um, So, was that... No, that wasn't it. 
Oh, let's try what Beamovo did again. Yeah, I just... But it wasn't just a title screen. It was that... Uh... Uh, and this is me trying to... I don't know what I did. Um, but yeah, it was the little teleport warp from um, Scrap Brain Zone. Like, uh, from like beating the final boss. That's weird. Magic. That's that's all. That's the only the only logical explanation. Uh, right. F A two one thousand eleven hundred. Let's see what that does. Okay, that crashed it. There we go. It's like having magical un unsticking tape or something that you can use to un uncrash stuff. <laughs> there we go. Back I go, but I need to find a way down off of this stuff. Let's see. I've tried to get in before you lot do. <laughs> Oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Magic. And it does, it's interesting, it, it counts, rings counting down on the title screen, I think. I do not know what happened. I believe it crashed. Let's, oh, wait. The music's starting. Where am I? Did you hear that sound effect? That sound effect is from, uh, that's weird. Do I... This sound effect is from the final boss. Uh, yes, that is right. There are well, 2,000 in hexadecimal, yes. Um, Two thousand in hex, yeah. I I I was trying moving around and nothing was happening, so I kind of gave up. But let's be Movo. Type in your thing again. I want to see if like I don't know if that was uh, me or that was you. So. I wonder what those... I like the weird kind of off-cut bits of level. Like, they're these beautiful, like, weird patterns, aren't they? Just like... Oh! <laughs> okay, so we know that 52 means the tops of spikes. Yeah, it is... It's uh, a lot of memory addresses. Uh, but I think... I'm getting the feeling the Master System games are nicer to play around with than the Mega Drive ones. And I wonder if it's just because, like, each each bite kind of has to do a bit more work. Uh, because you can't just, like, they're having bites, like, working to do multiple things. Uh, because they need to be conscious about the space. Um, I wonder if that just creates a situation where, uh, I want to see if I can jump up onto that thing or if I need to go under it. I think I need to go under it. There we go. Oh, camera's locked. Oh, I did not realise that was a death pit. Oh well, checkpoint. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about, but it was probably something awesome. So just imagine I said something really, like, interesting and insightful. Um, and then, like, <clears throat> I think that was me. I think that was me collecting a ring what did that. But, uh, we'll find out. That's not a happy crab. to the title screen. Oh yes! 
so yeah, in the Mega Drive games, um, maybe the Me maybe it's the Mega Drive Illuminati. Like they've heard me dissing the Mega Drive, and uh, like they're 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 onto me. So they killed my Sonic as a show of force. Um, no, uh, the Mega Drive, because you know there's basically like eight times the memory space. Oh, oh yeah, I've forgotten which thing does what. Uh, rewind game state. Oops. There we go. Um. Ooh. Well, that's different. What the? What the heck was that? So, okay, so... The screen won't scroll to the right anymore. Sonic's got a funny colour. There's there's a, the spring there that I can kind of... I can accept. That's, uh... This is Sonic's new friend, um... Blonick. Okay, so that's all the way I can go. So let's see where I can get to like this. You created great things, Bimovo. You created magic and wonder. But I think, because, yeah, basically, because I think there's a lot less memory to work with, it's a more, more likely that if you type in a random number, you're going to come up against something that does something. And I wonder if it's, like, there's less kind of... Oh, the instruments are different. Like, you're more likely to come across something that does like that, like, changes an instrument. I am also curious where it puts enemy data. I'm just enjoying this beautiful music. Yeah. Oh, I now got a number twelve. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a giant sprite now. <laughs> oh my god! What is this? What is this beauty? Oh my god, I don't know what that is. But it's 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 magnificent. Why are all the sprites twice as large as they should be? Why is the teleport bo the safety box all the way over there? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna let myself die because I want to see where the checkpoint box brings me back to life. And I like that Sonic, he's not just giant, but he's all like mashed up as well. And the checkpoint bo box spawns me over the sprite, the uh, spikes. Oh. I'm gonna wait a little before rewinding just in case it brings me back. I don't think it's gonna bring me back, so I'm going to rewind. There we go. We're back in the room. It's giant hedgehog time. Ah, cheers. Well, basically, I, I mean, uh, if you've come here from Twitter, um, the like pinned post on my Twitter feed is has a link to where I'll be uploading this. Like, uh, um, but yeah, uh, basically, I think this has been a successful test. I really wanted to come on like for an hour and just test to see like does this work um and i've been on for more than an hour and i'm still having fun so this works so basically once i finish with this stream what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this up on my website so uh yeah um have a look on uh my twitter um i will be posting to say that i've uploaded this as we've played a slow 
lament the Hedgehog Death March. What on earth is this beautiful magic? I'm dead. <laughs> I have no idea what killed me. Oh my god, yes. Run, giant Sonic, run. Oh yeah, I've already got the extra life. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still thinking of ways to make the syntax a little bit better. Uh, but, uh, because I think it's not massively clear uh, when people type in something that, like, could be meaningful, but... Oh, no, no Chaos Emerald. I went all that way for nothing. Oh, maybe I already have all the Chaos Emeralds, uh, because we, we established that. Oh, we're back to the slow lament. And now I go for a run in the sky. So this is just pipes. I need someone. I'm going to get to the end of the... Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm dead. And we're back to normal sprites. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's right. It's really... I'll be honest. I kind of thought that uh, that might happen. Uh, is that someone's writing a question to come in. It's looking for the word right. The word to... And it's looking for a two-digit number, and... What was that? A two-digit number, and up to two four-digit numbers. And, um, and then to interpret that... Oh, I'm, I'm active again. But basically, I like the idea that people can... Oh, this is still alive! The game, we're still in the game, we're still in the game! Listen to the music. Oh my god. This is like nightmare clown music. Oh. <laughs> okay, someone. Someone's found my uh, Sonic's momentum libs. Excellent. Thank you, Slapper Pow. I want you to launch me. Launch me through across the screen. Launch me to freedom. Yes! <laughs> ah, exposition. I was wondering if it was uh, velocity. Let's see what comes next. Yeah, try that again, beam over. Ooh! Oh, so is that my... I wonder if my velocity will be somewhere nearby that mem those memory addresses. Like 1400 to 1401 and... Oh. Where am I now? That's where I am. There's no... That motorbike was just standing perfectly still. So I've lost uh, screen scrolling. So... Uh... No, that's not what I thought it would be. Ah! Oh! Okay, pure psychic ability there, knowing where the slope was. Yeah, I think, well, what I've tried to do is, I mean, with the Master System games, the uh, numbers don't, like, the numbers, uh, the numbers wrap. Like, but it still needs to be four digits. Um, the Mega Drive ones, I guess they also ramp, but it doesn't matter because any four digit 
number is within bounds, um, so it's okay. Uh, but I'm trying, basically I wanted to make the kind of, the commands that you need to type in as flexible as possible. It's like, um, so it probably doesn't need the word to as well as the word right. Uh, but I guess I just, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, like, there are... Oh, the... where am I? Um, but I... Oh, something hurt me. <laughs> I don't know if there was a bad nick on that side of the screen and it was just invisible or something. Go, Sonic, go! So I think that's Bimovo. I've sent my ex corner all the way to the outside of the screen. Excellent. So, was that, or was that Slapper Pow's uh, input that triggered? Try typing that in again, Slapper Pow, and see if that gets to me to the end of the level. Hmm. That's useful to know. And <laughs> we've got a secret uh, level end code. Fantastic. Okay, this is going to change the speed run. I'm, I think I might be looking at a world record now. I, emulators are allowed, right? Aren't they? No law against using emulators in a speed run. I swear, as a kid, I managed to time this right, so I jumped high while Robotnik was coming down, and I managed to hit him, and I... I can't have just dreamt it. I must have done it, but... I'm wondering what that velocity could be. Anyway... I've beat Robotnik. Well, that's the last of him. We'll see. I don't think he's going to be coming back as a recurring character. Did I die? All oh, right, Robotnik's coming back as a recurring character because I just died. <laughs> All right, Robotnik. It's you and me now. With your heinous trap of flying around, bobbing up and down, and then coming downwards slowly where you're vulnerable. Right, Ivo hit stuff. I mean, I let him hit me and hope that it would do something uh, interesting with Ivo hit stuff, and uh, it did not, but uh, worth a shot. I was like, oh, will this make me... Uh, um, like, invulnerable to Robotnik or something, but, uh, evidently not. I feel like I'm just instinctively jumping in this bit. Oh, that's what killed me after I hit the capsule. So, yeah, uh, Slapperpow posted up a link to something, so, yeah, if we could have that in the chat, that would be really useful. But what I might put up on the website after this is, like, um, useful memory locations. Um, because that would uh, make it, like, possible for people to play along. Basically, the links that you're putting out. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, fantastic. This is a gold mine. Thank you so much. Alright, let's make some more magic. I'm rewinding. I want to do more of Bridge Zone. I'm not going to let me it boot me out. I'll make progress. 
This is a no reset percent. Getting some nice changes to the music now. Listen to the like background instruments, the wobble sound. I mean, it's gone on, gone away now, but it'll be back. Oh wow! This is magical music now. I wonder what's causing that to happen. Oh, I better take that platform across. It's not going to get me far enough. Can I stand? Oh, I can stand on that. That's helpful. Oh, I've got no music now. Uh, oh, thank you, April. These are great. Because basically, like... I mean, I'll put out the... Um, the um, Twitch stuff, like, publicly as is. Um, but... I think in the next version I'll make it so as well as... Because that's what's writing all the stuff uh, up above my head. What I might also do is make it so that that information also includes where to look up memory addresses. Um, like, so... And it's basically put up a link to useful, cool stuff that, you know, you can go, oh, here's what... all in all the different memory addresses, because that would be very helpful. Um. But yeah. There's some weird percussion stuff happening. Oh wow. What the what on earth has happened to the level? <laughs> I couldn't stand on that. I thought I'd be able to. It was a oh, magic. <laughs> I think mean, that was me that time, definitely. That was me grabbing a ring. Oh, wow! Oh my god, it's... This is incredible. Slap a power... Yes, there we go. I was going to say put a zero in front of it, but you were way ahead of me. But what on earth is going on? Oh, the offset for the block mapping. Oh! I get what, wow. but yeah, that's interesting because because it's I guess an offset value. What that represents is that uh, you can that basically you can change that and it will affect a lot of things. Oh, this is fun. This is magnificent. Like I, so I was just lost in reverie at the um, uh, what Oprah had uh, come up with. <laughs> Listen to the music. Went all kind of Kirby-ish there. That was my own doing. I'm glad I've got infinite lives on.
Was D2CE, was that the block mapping? I'm trying to remember now. Oh, wow! Did you see the... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh! The scroll is going the other way. The scroll is going the other way. Ah, right, the... I can't actually, I can't even go to the right. The scroll is going the wrong way. No fair. Um, so yeah, uh, how many minutes I have left? I've got a little uh, tool which uh, fixes that to a, uh, like, it always shows one minute, um, which is just a quality of life thing that uh, I put for when I've got hacks on. But I can switch it off. Um, let's... Uh, Infinite time is off. And now when you fit, fiddle with that, it'll actually do something meaningful. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Did you try it, Oprah? Did it make a difference? If it didn't, I might suggest changing that, uh, like, D to a C or an E, um, because, eh, it's interesting. Especially if you put in, a, like, a number that's too, too big for it. And now I'm going backwards. And I've got a, no, that was invisible. I wonder if I can, like, what made this leap up into the air? That was magical. Now I've got some simple chill out music. Oh! <laughs> some Jonathan, uh, John Cage music. Oh! Excellent! Thank you! <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what did it, but that was a level warp. I have, and we've got vertical speed. I had something was causing me to have weird velocity when I jumped. I don't know if that was something the rings had done or something you'd typed in. That's uh... Oh, the music's gone funny. <laughs> Sing along, everyone. See, I can't sing it as out of tune as this is. I don't think that's meant to be there. <laughs> oh, there's a timer! <laughs> what the... <laughs> there's a timer... There's a kind... Oh, no, the, the timer's just been moved. Okay, but it's like the timer is like the... Why did I do that? Uh, the timer is like the um, timer in the special stages. And it's just frozen. How long can I wait before I should start rewinding? I'm rewinding now. There we go. Yeah, I got an extra life, somehow. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I wonder if it's freezing there. Because... I couldn't jump very high there. Like, if I jumped over those spikes, I couldn't get over them. But because I think I'm in a special stage, and if I... Die in a special stage, it doesn't know what to do. That might be it. Let's go back to something that's possibly playable.
Oh, I can. Okay, I'm. This. Ah! I can't believe I'm figuring this out. <laughs> I'm just stuck here rolling. I can only. Yes, checkpoint! <laughs> what the, the physics? Is there an invisible slope there or something? I think there is. That's alright, I can jump around it. What the... What the heck is happening here? You're scaring me, Sonic. I have to say, the rewind feature is proving very useful right now. Hmm, okay, I can't get down there like that because of the wall. Oh, but I can take the log! Hmm, okay, that's useful to know. I can do this, I can beat this level, I can beat it. No, I don't think I can because that's the level, Is that's as much of the level as we're going to get. Oh, it's the, okay. Oh no, or not, or not! <gasps> okay, let's see what happens at the end of this. Does it think, like, because clearly it thinks this is a special stage. Yep. And it doesn't know where to take us next? I guess it doesn't know what to do if a special stage. When the rings are counting down, it's, it's the same as when they count up. I didn't know it actually used the ring value in there. So it's doing a lot of memory stuff at that moment there. But I think this may mean that we are frozen. Until. Okay, I think I have to reset the game. <laughs> oh. What and so I'm guessing one two seven B has something to do with uh, the horizontal scrolling. I don't know what it is. So I need to take a oh short oh okay I'm going to play with this scrolling. Oh no, it stopped now. Unless, oh! Has one of you found how to get it to scroll? Because that will be interesting. Uh, anyway, I need to take a quick uh, break um, to uh, use the facilities. Um, but when I come back, um, I guess... Yeah, if you want to um, have a thing, uh, just let me know in the chat if you want to continue playing with this for a while, if you want to move to one of the other Master System Sonic games. I've got Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic uh, Triple Trouble uh, loaded up at the moment. So uh, let me know. I will be back.
There we go. I'm back. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Uh, so I'll have a look and see what, uh, what's in the chat. Uh, I don't think know if there's been any change since I left. Um, but uh, okay, so one two seven B is a scroll integer. Okay, so what if I write uh, write if I do that and that's done something. Maybe if I, uh... That's... Ah, okay. So, if we move a little bit into the middle and see what, uh, right... Let's go for 80 to... Like that. Okay, and that caused something to scroll. Hmm. I guess I wonder if it's scrolling into place for some kind of horizontal boundary or something. I think that might be it. Hard to say. So, what are we in the mood for in terms of i'm because i'm feeling like uh, switching into another game um i'm feeling like switching into sonic 2 um but i also appreciate sonic 2 could be fun yeah uh i also appreciate that uh, you lot are putting a lot of experimentation into sonic 1 and i don't want to take that away from you so uh what i'll do is i'll move to sonic 2 but we like if you uh if you're like no we want sonic 1 just just say in the chat and uh uh ah oh we've got some good this is great stuff here i'm i'm putting this all into a um basically i'm bookmarking every all of these links as they come up because they are really helpful I think there may be some level of overlap between Sonic 2 and Sonic 1 in terms of the memory addresses that they use. Okay. We've got some fun stuff with colours already happening. Oh, we've got... Okay, I can still get through there. What in Jesus is happening here? Those are some interesting bites. Let's... Oh, did that... Oh, no, that reset the game. Okay. Then I choose to live with it. Oh, yeah, I think eventually the weird colouring goes away. But the game... It seems to have crashed there, just starting. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, there are some weird camera things going on already, and I don't know if it's because of uh, like the menu that was just up. <laughs> I like it when the music just kind of started from the middle again. What is this... Beautiful. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's the UI has moved all the way. I'm just gonna. Okay, this is. What on. I mean, this appears to be. Uh... Oh, awesome. Thank you, Aliat. I think that seems to be a bit of level that I can't go into without it uh, breaking. And now magic. Yeah. I wonder if it's... It could just be that there's more rings. But it is having a fun time uh, blowing up. And I like what it's done to the UI. Um, what? Oh, we won! We won! Two games cleared. What was that? Was that um, uh, 
how long did that take? Was that to, like two minutes or something? I think that must be a new world record. I think we've, we've done it. We've beaten the game. Do we wait and see if this is the good ending or the bad ending? Oh no, it's the bad ending because he doesn't have tails with him. Ah, oh, got to... Alright. I'm putting a bounty on finding the good ending. If we can make this game uh, death warpers to the good ending, then uh, then we've won. <laughs> Sonic 2 Master System, 100% in two seconds. Okay, I'm going to rewind and try and get back to a state where... Oh, that looked like I was being propelled through the sky there. What the... Okay, no, it's definitely crashing uh, periodically for some reason. That's not something I have a massive amount of control over. That seems to be a timed thing. So let's reset this game. Yeah, I can turn down the volume on the writing. I've got it. I've set it. It's not. It used to be four values per ring. Now it's on one value per ring. So this might be a bit gentler. So one of the parts of the um, streaming kit is that you can change, like, for some of the effects, you can kind of change how uh, how much they do. So, yeah, so now it's only, like, picking one bit and changing it for every ring I get, whereas before... It was uh, uh, doing something else. I wonder if I can hit those spikes from above. Oh, well, I'll never know. Oh, look at that purple lava. That's interesting. There <laughs> seemed to be some ceiling there. So this game has the same number of memory addresses. Uh, so I guess the number of memory addresses that there are is kind of determined by uh, the console rather than the game. Uh, so this is a Master System game, so it's got uh, 2,000 or at least, you know, in hex. 2000 uh whereas in uh in uh on the mega drive games it has like i think so the um yeah what it's doing is it's it's offsetting them so basically if you type in something that begins with a d it's going to uh like i forgot it it's going to do that modulo a thousand, where by a thousand I mean a hex thousand, um, and and that's what it is. And I, I guess when you see numbers written down, like hex codes written down from memory addresses, they might have a different offset value because what they're being used by is different. Like, uh, you know, it might be to, it's to do with how the hardware works, whereas. What I've got in the emulator, there is just an array of bytes that corresponds to uh, work memory. Um, so, uh, and from that, those are indexed from zero to like 2000. Um, so, so for me, it's like the, the values that I'm working with either begin with a zero or a one. But I guess because of the, you know, the specifics of the hardware that they're 
that they're using, you know, I suspect if you're actually writing data, you know, if you're actually writing code for the master system, uh, you'll be starting them with a D or an E or something like that. Um, I'll be honest, my knowledge of this isn't massive. Like, I've been figuring stuff out as and when I've kind of needed to, uh, like, figure it out to get the effects that I want you know I've been a lot more kind of I, I'm not as technically adept at this as someone who uh say was actually making Mega Dra Master System games back in the day or is even making them right now uh so I'm kind of I am really kind of hacking at this with a with a pair of salad tongs you know that's my uh my approach But yeah, but, but so basically, yeah, I mean, because I mean, the way this whole thing works is really that I'm kind of the great thing about modern computers is that they can do a massive amount of stuff without it taking too many resources. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can do kind of using really lazy kind of awful code. Um, oh, and I'm jumping every time I land. The, I'm not touching anything. I just want you to see this. I, I, I mean, I wasn't. I promise. I wonder if he's... I wonder if the inputs are like... That's weird. Unless it's the... Con I mean, is it the control? No, the control's working fine because I can operate the menus fine. But... This is frozen. That was weird. But yeah, I mean, it's quite sort of... I think it sets him into, like, demo mode. Like, he was carrying out a demo animation. Like, watch this. Like, I'm not touching anything. And he's just... Having a little party on his own. And I wonder if he's playing through a demo. But, although I don't know why he would be hammering the down button like that. I'm rewinding now. Okay, we're back to normal, so to speak. But yeah, so basically, you know, for things like, you know, I'm able to do, like, just access the RAM as an array of bytes and look for things like, oh, have values changed, and then just, oh, tell me what values have changed since last frame, and stuff like that. Um, and doing a lot of things, like, I can I can save a save state to the hard disk um, faster than a frame, so, so I do, and that's how I can do the rewind effects, and I can do the switching between games when you collect a ring, and all things like that. Don't know if that helps uh, clarify, but I'm, I was, <laughs> I don't know what the ground got turned into there, but that looked like uh, uh, some level data got uh, edited there. Oh, I just want to point out the t-shirt that I'm wearing today is own uh, own <laughs> Home knitted design. It's actually, um, I'm very proud of this. This arrived recently. Um, I got it printed. I took a scan of the box art, so you can see on the back is the it's the the box that it came in, and I just stuck it in a scanner and uh, made myself a t-shirt out of this. So, yeah, it's literally just the um, just the box art. I just took the paper out of the box and stuck it in a scanner. Um, but I'm really happy with it. Um, I kind of like the idea of... Uh, uh, thank you very much for the nice comments. I like the idea of... Uh, Alright, let's see if I can remember how to get the emerald in this. I did figure this out eventually. It took me a lot of attempts, but I did... Uh, a couple of years ago, I was playing this... Uh, and I was like, I'm fine. I am going to finally beat this game with all the Chaos Emeralds. 
and I did, but it took a while to figure out the hang glider stuff. There it is. See, there it is, and there's somewhere I'm supposed to be able to jump on to get up there. Like, there's a spring somewhere. I think in the end I ended up just going for being good with a hang glider and just being able to fly up there. Because I think you're supposed to jump on hidden springs. I think that's the intended way to do it. But yeah, I kind of, I like the idea, rather than having a t-shirt that is the box art, having a t-shirt made out of the literal box. Um, I think there's something kind of fun about the idea of dressing up as a box. Um... Oh, okay. I have realized something with this. Um, the, and I'm very sorry for not spotting it earlier. Um, this is a bug. I think I... Uh, okay. Um, switch game without a uh, ring implies no... MS slash GG message. I hope I remember what that means. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, because it, it's not doing the number wrapping, because it doesn't recognise that... Uh, it doesn't recognise that you are in a uh, Master System game. So... I need to switch into another game and then switch back into Sonic 2. Uh, because then it will be able to tell that you're in a Master System game. So that's a bug that I hadn't spotted. There we go. And now... And now, if you type in something beginning with D, it... No? Okay. It should be uh, turning that into uh, something beginning with 1. That's weird. Uh... Yeah, okay, I don't know why that's wrong, but basically if it's uh, the highest number you can put in for the master system will be that. So try to wrap your numbers round. So write 12 to uh, 0500, 0520, like that. Um, it might need to start with a one instead of a zero. I don't know what exp uh, what you're expecting to see. Uh... Was it that? Because that's interesting. It's just turned into like a dance party. <laughs> it's, this is magical. It's playing the music really slowly. Okay, let's uh, rewind. And see if we can get back to normal. Uh, yes. Um... That is probably a good idea. Um, I guess if more stuff like that starts to come up, I will uh, uh, jump into the uh, thing and edit the stream info so that people know in advance. So let's type that in again. Well, that just killed the game. <laughs> Let's... 
Yeah, no, if stuff comes up where it is too light flashy, I'll probably just uh, rewind away from it. Even if the effect's really pretty, it's not worth uh, risking anyone's health over. Whoever's playing the honk instrument is having a lot of fun now. They're just like coming in at random moments. Honk. Honk. Oh my. What is happening? Oh, this is. We made beautiful music here today. I wonder which one of you uh, typed in the thing that made that happen. Probably if I keep an eye on the... Maybe if I watch back... Oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so we found a death command in there as well. Nice. <laughs> What appear oh no, I think that reset was I think that was me rather than you, Aliat. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right by the way. Let me know if I'm not. Oh wow! Oh we've got magic! We've got magic, we've got beautiful, beautiful magic. What is <laughs> what are these things? They are just on top of the rest of the screen. So that's, it's, like, the level is still, the, the level layout is exactly the same. It's, and I'm just enjoying the music. So, oh, okay, so it's something to do with the sprite height. Uh, so, instead of two, write zero two, Oprah. The reason that's there is basically so that, I mean, I could try, maybe... Maybe the audience need to, like, start with a number or something. Like, start with a uh, hash symbol or something. For it to make sense. Um. <clears throat> uh. How did we make that beautiful video effect, like, that overlay of random junk on the screen. Do we know what we changed for that? Because that was, that was a little bit of magic. Oh! Well, would you look at that? There's no level end signpost. Um... <laughs> Maybe I have to go higher up? Right. I wonder if I can leap off of this. No, because that's... Because there's a gap in the floor now. Interesting. Right. Okay, I'll, there's one way to reset the level. Alright, let's see if we can do this. See if we believe in ourselves. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh! Oh, this is good. Also, I love the music. I, I love the music in this level. Oh, 
Okay, I'm sorry, I've got to do a bit of uh, showing off uh, cool stuff. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Right, if I need to know where I am in this level, <laughs> I've got a canvas art print of it. Um, I, uh, this was basically, okay, bagsoflove.com. Um, you can go to and you can get printed quite cheaply um, onto a t-shirt, onto a canvas print, like anything. Um, and I kind of, I like the idea that like level maps would just make really interesting prints. Um, so I had to go at making this, just I, I took some level art, I had to do a little bit of editing to it. Um, but signed a level map someone had made of this level on the internet and got it printed as a as a uh, as a canvas print um, because I thought it's just a bunch of interesting state, shapes and what's interesting about this particular level is that it's all uh, is vertical. Um, I'll show you. I've got another one. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Labyrinth Zone from Sonic 1. There we go. Uh, you can see it there. Which, so basically, I mean, most of the Sonic maps are kind of long and thin. Like, they're, they're wide. Like, big, long kind of landscapes. Um, but this Labyrinth Zone Act 1 on the Master System and Scrambled Egg Act 1 on the Master System, um, they both have really interesting, like, one of them is a is a square, and the other one is a uh, is a tall rectangle. So they were really interesting shapes to do, um, and I thought, oh, why don't I just get them printed and see how they look? And I really like them. Um, so yeah, I still need to like actually nail them up onto the wall. Uh, is that an? Oh. Okay, I'm going to reset. Uh, was the timer frozen? It it was. That looked kind of frozen, didn't it? The timer was frozen. I wonder why. And the music's gone. I'm going to see if I can kill Sonic just to get the music back. Well, evidently, I don't... Oh, he's still alive down there. But I don't know what he's up to. Let's see how far back I can rewind. Can I get back to when there was music? Because it's nice to have the music in this level. Oh, and I've got ring one lives. The, the rings counter has frozen as well. Let's see. Yeah, the rings counter is frozen, and okay, so it it's still counting rings correctly. And now we're back onto that underground zone. I wonder if what it is is we're on like like Act a hundred or something. Um, I have I tried like yeah cheat. Changing the act number in Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive, I did that one so it would force it to always be Act 4. And in uh, Emerald Hill Zone, what it did is it was Emerald Hill Zone with no graphic, you know, like with no enemies. It was Emerald Hill Zone with no enemies, um, the wrong color palette. And the music from, uh, I think it was the music and the colour palette from uh, Metropolis Zone. And that's what Emerald Hill Zone Act 4 is. And that was kind of interesting. And I can't remember the way through this. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can even get through the tube. But yeah, so I think this is Underground Zone Act 255 or something.
This is different. Also, a nice thing about the Master System games in terms of, like, using the level layouts to make prints out of is the Master System... On the Master System, the backgrounds... Whoa! I went flying through the air there. Um, that slope was wrong. A weird slope gravity there. Um, but the, the backgrounds on the Master System map one-to-one -one with the foregrounds. So when you see someone's, like, compiled a level map for them with the original graphics, the backgrounds are there as well. Uh, but if you are... Ah, I'm stuck in the tube. I'm stuck in the tube. So yeah, if you, um, oh, okay. Okay, I, I, what? I don't know where, what happened there, but it seemed to be right. Oh, and then the snow fell down. <laughs> okay, so those locations, 1390 to 1405, seem to be pertinent. But yeah, um, on the Mega Drive, when you see um, background layouts, because the backgrounds move in parallax, it doesn't make sense to have the background... What? Okay, uh, that was a... Uh, stopped. <laughs> Less of that, please, game. Uh... <laughs> but, yeah, uh... The, um... With the Mega Drive games, where, you know, when people create level maps out of them... Whoa! What on earth is happening? So I am, if that keeps on happening, because uh, I, is that something that's happening as a consequence of me getting hurt? Evidently not, but the colours are messed up, like what's that pink? Uh, no worries, no worries, oh, bro, you didn't know, like I, I basically, I mean I kind of would quite like to play around with weird flashy effects like that, but I'm also aware that some people like tuning in uh like i don't want to like trigger someone's epilepsy or something you know um if i'm if we're going to play with that i will put a notice on the front of the stream um but i'm kind of reluctant to because i just don't want to like i i don't want to scare people off i'd rather so if the solution is just don't do the thing that's uh unpleasant then i think that's uh that's probably preferable, but 13A8 is the hurt trigger. <laughs> I mean, that's something to keep and uh, make a note of for future for, like, uh, personal use. <laughs> but it's funny when you get stuck in a tube and you uh, can't get out because it's... Uh... Oh, God, look at... What is that magic... That magic bar of fun across the top of the screen there. Oh, hello, magic bar of fun. What are you doing there? What are all the symbols? And the rings have stopped turning. Well, uh, you know what I'll do? I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just editing the chat. There we go. I've changed the name. It's now flashing images likely exclamation mark. So that should 
hopefully warn people about the calamity that might ensue. Um, so, yeah, no, that, that's that. I'm, I'm less worried about uh, having radical flashing. Obviously, if anyone in the chat right now does not like it, let, like, say. Uh, please just say stop that. Uh because uh, this is this seems to be what the uh, what the thing what the game wants to do. Oh my god! Was that in time with the music? I, I okay. I did you see that? I just lost a ring, even though I had invincibility. No. Oh, I was stuck in a wall. Well. This is, uh, we have, why isn't this game called Sonic Chaos? What on earth is going on? So, fourteen hundred to 1418 handle active object, which appears to be everything on screen. Interesting. I wonder if this, if I, if I, if Sonic dies, will this go back to normal? Or will it just get worse? Oh, he needs to go back down the tube. Right, let's see if this heals or if it uh, stays like this. Okay, it's looking promising. It's looking promising. Okay, this is good. This is, we are back to normal. What is... The tubes are garbled. That's interesting. The rings aren't turning. Also interesting. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of the dreams. I'm glad it's useful. I mean, I'm finding it, like, thoroughly enlightening. Um, I mean, in a way, it's kind of... I, I mean, like, the reason I created this, like, all this, like, memory editing stuff that the audience can do, is because I wanted to, like, have a kind of shared creative process, you know, between the streamer and the audience. So, like... The fact that you are getting that out of it is really good because it means that it's doing what I want it to. I can't believe I remember my way through all these tubes. And then the next one is just trial and error from what I remember. And Sonic's been attacked by some kind of creature. It's amazing that I remember all that stuff because that is like, as a kid, like that jump would have been one of those things that made this game like literally impossible. But now it's just trial and error at this point in the level. So I know I need to hold down first. And then... I'm gonna guess it right oh no okay i can't go through that and we're on to disco mode it's disco mode okay at least i'm safe in the spikes i'm going to rewind because i feel like i'm so close to getting through that except i can't i can't actually do that because the bit of the tube is missing Damn it. Okay, let's keep this going. Let's see if see if it works, but I may get launched into the into the Oh, I forgot to Cuz I want to know what's after this level. We're on level um No. I am going to get to the end of this level cuz I want to know what is at the end of it. Ha 
have to avoid collecting too many rings. That'll be the the magic. <laughs> okay, I think we may have found my velocity is somewhere in that set of numbers. Now here's the, the bomb that I keep on forgetting is there. Come on, I, I swear I pressed the button, but I must have been just a fraction of a second too late. It's also interesting that the enemies respawn in this game, because they, they don't in other Sonic games. Ah, there we go. It must have heard me. It must have heard me dissing it. I was like, oh, I'll get out of the way then. You don't like me. You don't want to see a cute little walking bomb like me in your Sonic the Hedgehog game. Nope, that's the wrong one. So we go left. It's... Okay, I don't know what... Is there a spring there? So left and left. And then down. And that's going to take me all the way through the mega tube. I jump over here. And it's all magic jumps from here on. But this is a fun, like, reflex puzzle there. I mean, I have to say, like, this as, like, it's a cute bit of level design, that. But just that little challenge there is a really nice, I mean, it's stupid hard when you, you know, when you're seven years old or however old I was when I was playing this. Okay, I'm going to guess down. <gasps> okay, I'm not, no, no, I'm, I'm going back, I'm going back. Because I want to beat this level, that's like... I'm rewinding out of that. I'm sorry if you really wanted to see where the continue screen would take me, but I need to I need to find out what's on the other side of this. This is the dream. This is my quest to follow that star. No matter how hedgehog, no matter how far. Okay, and then right. And then down and then left. Ah. So, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to let you kill me. I'm not going to let you kill me. I'm, I believe in myself. I've got to follow my dreams. Don't let my dreams be dreams. Okay, we're finding out. Then you can kill me all you want. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the ones with D, if you replace the D with a zero and the E with a, yeah, uh, they're not wrapping properly, but I've passed at... Look how much time I had on the clock. Look at my time bonus. That's enormous. All right, what comes after this act? What comes after this act? Place your bets. Place your bets. I am guessing it's going to be the same level again. Um... But... What, what what do we guess? It's nearly there. We've got enjoy the beautiful the beautiful tone, the sonorous tone of square wave in your ear. I reckon it's going to be the same level again. Or well, first level. I reckon it will be that, or it'll be like the opening credits, like the as in the opening title. But I want to go same level again. I still. Did you see how small my what? Sky High Zone Act 2. I want to... Okay, is that its true destiny or is this Aliat um, playing with us? I need to know. I need to know. I'm rewinding time. Okay, let's find out. I can't remember when you uh, wrote that in, so... Uh, 
<laughs> Let's find out. We're nearly there. But I like DC. The score has nope. Sky High Zone Act One. It it what it's Sky High Zone Act One is the level that it wants us to play. But you can see, like, there's no UI anymore. Like, there's no time, which is probably why we got infinite time. Like, there's no time, there's no ring counter. And that's really odd. That's <laughs> a spring in the sky. Oh, we've had like, the grass is going brown. It must be a long, hot, dry summer. Not a lot of rainfall. And now we've got whatever is this? It. Okay, so we're on an invisible. Uh... Ah, I see. Invisible power swapping. So we are on an invisible end of act screen. Oh, which is taking us to the continue screen, which is still invisible. <laughs> and so now we've got... Whatever this level is. I can't move. But it's like Game Boy Sonic level. Ah, <laughs> oh, swap to the ending sheet since I was loading the title card, the scorecard. This is. I mean, it's all it's all beautiful. This is beautiful, no matter what they say. No words can bring it down. Why am I... Why can I not get up that hill? That's... My... Oh, I think my running speed's been changed. That's why. <laughs> it's like I'm running underwater. That's really weird. Oh, okay. That This is odd. So, I think... I... Moonwalking. Oh! <laughs> hey, Gokun! Welcome back! Oh, let's... I'm gonna... Toggle the layers back to normal because what you have been missing out on, like, Gook, and what you've come in just in time for is some really cool fun times playing around with the RAM. So, oh, we had slow music and slow running at the same time. So I seem to have underwater physics at the moment. But also, I, I was not trying to roll there and it just made me roll as soon as I landed. And the springs just send me super high, presumably because of the underwater physics. I'm just kind of drifting around. Whoa! Oh, we've entered into magic land. <laughs> no, okay, it's going to give us a normal amount of time. We don't have, um... What? Okay, that's be that was something that was triggered by the ring counter changing. And it is not progressing now, so I'll have to rewind. See if I can get it back to a reasonable time. 
I should probably put up a rewind symbol. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. I think this might be a reset. Oh, wow. Um, so, uh, Gukun, to explain, um, you'll need to write a two-digit number and two four-digit numbers. So, um, like that. <laughs> so, um, for example, yeah, you know, by numbers, they're hex numbers, so anything... Ooh, we've got night time. So yeah, bring your brightest goggles to help see this magnificent creation. I don't think that ramp was originally there. I feel like that's something that's just chanced its way into the level. Extra life. These are beautiful palettes. Like some kind of prototype Amy now. I am Sonok, the anti-Sonic. There's no time for games. Farewell. So, yes, this could work on any Genesis uh, Master System or Game Gear game. Um, so, for example... Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, so obviously there are some things which are game specific. So knowing what rings are is limited to a certain, a small subset of games. Um, so it's the Sonic games on Master System and Mega Drive. And then there's some Mega Drive games where I've got it to interpret other things as if they are rings. Um, we did have some true beauty going on. I'm going to rewind to the beauty. There we go. Oh, that seemed to... Did something seem to affect my velocity there? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, with other games it will work. So, um, but obviously it'll just be things like uh, writing random numbers into memory when the audience types stuff and things like that. Uh, that's what's going to uh, make the difference. That's a shame that was a crash. But there we go, we've got fun colours. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Whoa! It, it, it became magical. I'm still on screen, I just can't be seen. And it's going slow and jerky, but it's back to normal. And there's a spring there, which I don't think used to be there. Oh, uh, I'm loving... I'm loving the palette swaps. I'm wondering what it... I'm going to go back a bit to see if I can try and figure out... If there's a way I can progress without it freezing off the level got killed at some point. Okay, it seems to be... I was. I spoke too soon. Okay, let's rewind to before that chaos happened. We'll go back to normal colours and see if we can progress. Whoa! So I think whatever was breaking it must be some bit of level data now. And this is I don't know if any of you remember Ashura was a um, a hack. Well, it was a it was a glitch you could make Sonic in uh, Scourge. Oh god, that's it as well. Yeah, Ashura and Scourge. Ashura, for those of you who don't know, um, 
there's a glitch in uh, in Sonic 2 if you like use the debug and load too much stuff onto the screen that Sonic's palette gets messed up and he becomes kind of green and black and people used to call the character Ashura but yeah Scourge well, that was uh, the American Sonic comics wasn't it uh, and that was an evil Sonic but then evil Sonic turned green and got a biker jacket which is which is the height of cool you know when I turn evil, I'm getting a biker jacket. That's uh, that's how you'll know. And whatever you did just there, April, that was magical. Something between 14D0 and 14... Whoa! Oh, I've got chilled, slow-paced version of the music now. Get out your slow glow sticks. It's time for a sonic jam. I like that whatever it is is breaking the like the overlay menu as well. <laughs> That's different. Thank you very much. I've been I mean I would be lying if I said I practiced my dancing. We'll find out the music addresses. This is uh, this is what we do. <laughs> we have the you you have joined the detective club. Uh, so, uh, Gukan, um, so something that I it's a bug recently. Um, Instead of putting D2299, uh, try 0299 or 1299. Uh, because, so like that. Uh, so it's a bug. It's supposed to uh, wrap the numbers if it knows it's a Master System game. Um, so to, they go into Master System memory. But that doesn't seem to be working, so I need to fix that. Uh, and, ooh, we've got, we've got zeros. Just enjoy the music and enjoy me bouncing on something random. Look at me just bouncing along the level. Have I level wrapped vertically? I'm stuck. Mm. Rewinding now. Oh, there's some kind of platform there moving up and down. Oh, I, I, okay, I got into a minecart ever so briefly. Uh, Gukan, the first, if the first number is two digits long, um, that's how it'll work. So, uh, like, like that. And uh, same Aliat, so uh, one won't be recognized, but zero one will. There we go. I'm dead. Thank you. Now I realize what you're trying to do there. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to forget. I might have to think of a different way of identifying... Uh, identifying numbers. I'm trying to find something that's less ambiguous. See... Like, if I... Hmm. There's a lot... Uh, what was I trying to do? Yeah. There's probably a better... <laughs> okay, I don't know what was going on there. Let's uh, just reset. Yeah, I'm trying to find a, think of a better way of, like, explaining how the numbers should work. Or 
how to interpret the numbers so it can be a bit more flexible for what people want. Oh, is that you trying to walk me to the credits, Alias? Is that what causes the slow music? <clears throat> okay. I shall rewind to the before then if I can. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, it is like with. It is interesting, different games seem to treat stuff like that recently, like, um, like, there does seem to be, like, things that we have done in memory have caused us to walk to the credits, and I'm not sure what they are, um, must be some combination of things, because, um, like, in a lot of games they'll have, like, a flag for, oh, show this, show this scene next, and you can set it to credits, but to actually activate it so it, it looks at it and goes yes i will go to the credits it's like a different thing and uh so i don't quite know the mechanism of how it's all out or does it but we do have some beautiful colors so i don't know uh so uh, gukan uh if Instead, you type write zero zero to zero three a eight. That that will work. Um, it's a, a bug at the moment. It won't. Uh... Oh, something happened. So that D at the beginning is the problem. It's it's too big of a number. So the master system that like uh, memory address doesn't exist on the master system. Um, so. Uh... the um yeah so that's something i'm planning to fix in the next version is to make it ah the, okay interesting try it again i want to see what happens oh whoa jesus christ what the hell just happened there i think i'm at the top of the screen i think i'm above the screen i don't know There's a lot of data values. It does make some... I mean, this is me. That was me just holding to the right now. It does make some beautiful things. Um, Gukan, I can see you're trying to do the same thing over and over again, and I, I appreciate you pitching in. Um, I'm going to type into the chat a version of what you're trying to type in that will work, um, but uh, the numbers that you are putting in at the moment are too big. Um, so the master system doesn't know what to do with them and that's something that I want to fix in future um, especially because there are different listings like um, yeah <laughs> Aliette's got contact for the same thing um, yeah okay uh, <laughs> yeah no I appreciate it's uh, um, uh, yeah because when you have, like, when they have uh, numbers for what different memory addresses do, like, listed on web, uh, the internet, uh, is it okay, right? It's, oh, so maybe it's one instead of D. I see. Sorry, I thought it was, uh, uh, D would be zero. But that, I mean, where we got to there. Yeah, thank you, Slapapo. Much appreciated. Uh, where are we? So the camera seems to be stuck in this position. I don't know if we can continue. No, we are stuck in a wall.
so yeah, when they are, you know, talking about those memory addresses, they're talking about them on, like, an actual console, um, and so when I'm using them in the emulator, I'm actually treating them kind of differently. There we go. A beautiful, beautiful death. Thanks for coming along, Oprah. Thank you for taking part. Thank you for joining in, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your work, but this has been a lot of fun. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for joining in. I mean, it's always, that's, Honestly, I was not wor expecting this to work so well as a thing that people could join in with, uh, so I'm really happy. And that was a lovely freezing effect. There we go. Back to normal-ish. <laughs> oh god, what the Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm rewinding before the death. What on earth is all this magic? What wizardry have we unleashed upon the world? Yes, it would be awesome to see you in real life again, Oprah. It would be great. Um, I can't believe, like, um, I can't believe it's been, like, as long as it's been, because it's been, like, what, two years? Like, um, honestly, I, I was really, uh, last year at Amaze, I was really looking forward to seeing you and to seeing your game, um, then, then of course that uh, didn't happen. So, let's let's make this happen. You know, it might be, you know, late twenty twenty one. It might be twenty twenty two. But it's it's gonna happen. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Um... Oh, you got a game that's almost funded. Awesome. Like, uh, what was I? Uh. I would love to know more about it. Like, feel free to, like, um, send me, like, tweet me a, um, like, basically, yeah, to tell me all about it because I would be really up for finding out about it. Ooh, excellent. I would be, like, delighted to see it when, uh, when the world eases up. Well, have a super rest of your day. Right. I, I appreciate, I appreciate that it's hushed hush, but uh, everything's break. What is happening? I don't know. Everything's brilliant. Cheers. You too, April. Bye. I don't know what was happening there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's okay. So that's a trigger to hurt me. That has been found. Oh, whoa! There was a block in the middle of the sky that I smashed through. That was fun. I'm going to call it uh, Jimmy the Block. Long live Jimmy the Block. Fairly well, Jimmy the Block. Oh, what is. Is that the wind effect from Sky High Zone? Did you s look at this? Is that the wind effect from Sky High Zone? And it's like the loaded graphics for it are um are like bullets and things, and we have something that appears to be the Y scroll position, maybe. Oh wow! So why is Scrolling funny. So Sky High Zone is level zero. Interesting. Which is probably why we walk back to it. At the end of the adventure. And there's no... Uh, there is no goal marker. Interesting. Sky High Zone is level zero. Uh, who'd have thunk it? Honestly, if you'd asked me what was level zero, I would have guessed Green Hills Zone. So now I'm in Sky High Zone Act 2, because I was in Underground Act 2. We have become the music makers and the dreamer of dreams. I know I've said that before, but I'm going to keep on saying it, because, <laughs> I mean, it is totally true. 
Interesting. So I wonder if when I finish this level, we might actually get what back to this level again, because it's going to increment the level counter and then try and load it. Interesting. Let's find out. Only one way to find out, and that's by getting to the end of the act. But interesting. So I always had a theory about this game that uh, originally Green Hill Zone was meant to be the first level, um, and uh, the um, Green Hill Zone was meant to be the first level, and then for whatever, like they either because it was too much of an easy beginning or too much of a difficult third act. They decided to move it to the middle and put in Underground Zone instead because it was a better opener. Like, I always wondered that. Um, well, let's find out what happens. Because last time we had an infinite score, we had, uh, well, I say infinite, like stupid high score. It took us to Sky High Zone Act 1. I wonder if this is going to take us to Act 2 again because the level count is going to go up because we beat the level. But you see the time counting down and it's not affecting the score. Oh no, Sky High Zone Act 3. Well, there we go. Alright, let's see if I can beat this boss. Uh... I mean, I've got Rewind, so I can do it first time easy. Although I remember as a kid thinking this boss was really hard and, like, playing it as a grown-up and going, oh no, this is this is fairly straightforward. But we'll find out. It's a big chicken. Okay, you need to get the egg so the chickens don't hatch out of it, I think. Hmm. Okay, not as easy as I remember. <laughs> Because that's it. Yeah, you can just stick around to the side and then... Oh, no. It's hitting me with its fireballs. I'll just get behind it and hit it multiple times. Ah! Rewind. I have to say, I quite like this rewrite feature that I've added. Okay, there we go. It's 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 deaded. And here comes. Okay, cool. The prison egg is still there. And again, we've got infinite time on this level. So enjoy a loud bleeping sound for a while. We're halfway through the loud bleeping. Nearly there. Hold on tight. Believe in yourselves and you get through the loud bleep. Happens. Okay, Acrylic Act 1. Right. I mean, maybe we weren't expecting anything weird to happen. I'm glad I have a rewind button. <laughs> Although, actually, no, that would be interesting to see, just in case there is some funny thing that happens if I die with all the things that we've, like, the settings that we've changed. But it is interesting that we're still in this state where there is no UI anymore. Like, there's no life counter, no ring counter, no timer. So, I'm not sure what effect you're expecting to see. 
but there is no level end screen there. Like, there is no, uh, oh no, maybe we have to go underwater to get it. So death will just bring us back to this level. But it is interesting, like, you compare this... Oh, look at that! I'm in a hang glider. Whoa! This is beautiful. I don't know what... We must have changed the setting at some point to get rid of a HUD, but it's... Oh, let's see if I... There we go. Underwater hang glider. Ooh! So whatever's causing underwater hang glider is causing that weird effect. But yeah, we the HUD, I don't know. Some memory value, we've changed some memory value that has caused it to go away. I think it's putting it into some kind of state for like... Oh, maybe it's because it thinks it's in the end credits. So the timer isn't changing and the lives counter isn't showing because it thinks we're in the end credits. That might be it. Okay, if anyone knows how to, like, modify the the air counter, please do it now. <laughs> how how is anyone supposed to get through that? And I remember this is that. For some reason, it takes ages for the game to reload after Sonic drowns. Hmm, a death. Thank you. <laughs> what did you... Oh, you found it. That's all right. It'll come up later. <laughs> Extra life. But yeah, I, I genuinely, I think that's why we're in this weird state is because... It, why we're in this weird state is because... Uh, uh, because it thinks we're in the, uh, the end credits. I reckon that's what it is. That's my theory. Is there any truth to it? We'll find out. Well, I guess we won't find out. I don't know how you find out something like that. But, like... So the time counter is, like, up at infinite, and maybe the score's not changing because it's like, oh, you finished the game, so you don't have a score that updates anymore. That's... This is interesting. And we're halfway through the big long bleep, the long dark bleep of the soul. Whoa, what on earth is... We found something magical there. That must be nice. Something between 1500 and 1509. Awesome. I feel like I'm moving with normal physics, or at least I was briefly. Or maybe that's just because this level is weird and the water's really odd in this, in the Master System version of this level. Oh. And we're back to the beginning. I want to see where we end up. Do we end up in underground zone? Or yeah, we're in underground zone. So I'm going to rewind back to Aqua Lake. I wonder if it was the ring that killed me. Ooh, air. 
So now you see, here's the time. Oh, well, you kind of have to stop for air in this level because you have to get into the big bubble to carry you up. I'll see if I can do it without air. Oh no, I need to get in the big bubbles. Damn you, Sega, ruining our fun experiments. Oh. Inside a wall. Or behind a wall. Ooh, I went to fun locations. Something beautiful and magical happened there. I don't know what it was. But as I was stuck in the tube. So I'm rewinding to back. There we go. So I am fiddling around with the buttons. Oh, okay. I seem to be out of the tube now. So... I got down to that state, and then I could, like, wiggle the buttons, and I seemed to be teleporting around the place. But maybe it was what Slapper Pi put in. So let's... So this is an interesting situation to try and get me out of the tube. Right, I'm going to try pacing in, because it was a really weird state. Like, I could... Uh, I could write in... Oh, there we go. Magic, thank you. No. Yes, I know. Well, <laughs> there's me copy-pasting. It's weird, because I could... I was basically, I was pressing buttons on the joypad and it seemed to be moving around the screen, but maybe that was all in my head and it was just because I was in tube state and I was following along the pattern of a tube. Hmm. How far does the rewind go now? I see. Okay, so that spat me out of the tube, and now I'm off screen somewhere. I see. I I think it's probably time for me to start wrapping up now, uh, because I can feel myself getting uh, hungry, and I see I've been on for like three hours or something. So... Uh, don't know if I drowned. I feel like you're trying to save me from drowning, and I thank you for that. Uh, what will make a good fun grand finale? Uh, it's a nice fun way to wrap all this up. Uh, let's have... Save me. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Um... I know you will save me. When the time comes, the time comes, you will you will save me and and I will thank you for it. <laughs> so, okay, um let's go for we haven't seen much of Sonic Triple Trouble, so let's switch into Sonic Triple Trouble. And basically, I'm going to see if I can get back, get to the end of the first zone in Sonic Triple Trouble. Um, and uh, we'll see how it breaks. And then I guess once I've uh, beaten the first zone, I'll, uh, I'll call it a day and go and get, make myself some dinner.
But thank you all for taking part in this. This has been really fun. And it's also been really useful just to find out all of the different things. Um, when will this be available? I mean, I'll probably uh, put out... Honestly, I'll put out this current build right after this. And I'll upload it. So it'll probably be, uh, let's say, half an hour to an hour after I end the stream. Um, but I do have a to-do list of things I want to change. Um... And so top of the to-do list is to... Oh, wow. This was good. T <laughs> well done. Uh, at the top of my list is the thing about master system data locations. Uh, so that you can write in something beginning with a D and it'll be okay. Um... Uh, but other than that, uh, oh, cool, yes, oh, please, like, by all means, and of course, like, so, things that involve detecting a ring will only work in the Sonic games, and there's games, basically, the ga there's games listed on the website that will tell you where, you know, which games work with it, but all the rep memory stuff, like, you know, writing to RAM, when the audience types in. That will work on any Mega Drive game, any Game Gear game, any Master System game. Um, and I really want to see, like, what weird stuff people find. Um, so, hey, extra life. And I have, like, one minute and zero seconds, but it's a zero with one digit. So that screen wiggle is when it's writing to memory. Um, so um, that shows you that it's doing a lot of memory writes when it's uh, hitting the number, you know, doing the ring countdown. That's interesting, that's a reset. <laughs> HUD is under half the terrain. I'm going to go back into the level where we were. Uh, even though I feel mean for denying you that beautiful uh, reset to uh, the, uh, the start screen. Uh, But yeah, it doesn't seem like rings are as ridiculously volatile in this as they were in Sonic 2. Or maybe I'm just collecting fewer of them. So I might turn the volume up on rings. I'm going to turn the volume up on rings to... There we go. 23 times. There we go. Let's have a nice big grand finale and make some wacky stuff happen. Oh. <laughs> well, that one seems to reset it. Okay, let's... I, I'm going to go one through again, because not much weird stuff seemed to be happening there. Um, so I've turned the volume up. I... Oh! Okay, so I think, I think that was, you brought me to the end credits. Okay, that's a victory. That's a, another, another game won. We, we've completed three games today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my, what the, did you, did you see that? I was playing in the title sequence. I don't know how we... How do we go back to that? Can we go back to the... No. I don't think I can go back, but... There we go. There we are. Oh, no, because I'm holding the start button. That's why. Let's see. 
Now, I can't press any face buttons. Oh, no, that magic state's gone away. Hmm. Okay. I, this is me going to attempt to time this perfectly. Will that do it? No, I don't think it is. Oh, no. How did we get to the... Oh! Okay, so I think I just died in the... I just died in the title sequence. Ah, okay. So if we do that again, and I'll be honest, I don't actually, I am taking it on trust, like what these do, and that, okay, no, I'm, I guess I just didn't understand what the, uh, the cause and effect were there, but let's, <clears throat> oh, that, okay, my velocity was changed there. Interesting. I got to right one. And then that happened. Yeah, that looks normal. That's that's about right. Let's rewind through this. Why is it getting into this state? That's like a beautiful garden. Hmm, one ABA might be in charge of some routines. I really want to know how we got into this state where I could run around on the title sequence. But also, the title sequence is an interesting time to write stuff in, because I think you can still kill me on the title screen. Ah, oh, well, let's find out. Let's see what happens. Ooh, there's a there's a ring in the what okay when I jump my angle is was really weird there and it wasn't just what invisible spring oh got some mellow tunes now I like it when they go kind of out of tune. Oh, that was a fun movement. <laughs> I went into a wall. That's new. Oh, look at that. The, the splash effect. Ah. So we've got some locations. One A B blah is uh Okay, I'm going down there. I want to see what <laughs> the bubbles the springs. Ah, so that must be around one A B X. And it's not reloading. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, I... Okay, I have an idea. I have a magical, a wonderful, whimsical idea. So I'm going to change it. So it's going to write uh, random numbers into memory a thousand times when you type anything. And I'm going to start the game again from scratch. And then while this is up, I'm going to type in test. And that's going to make a thousand changes to memory. And that's going to freeze it. So that was a bad idea. And we're going to type in test two. And that's also going to break it. So maybe that was too many. What did we do? What did we do that made you able to play on the on the intro? That's Yeah, it just Oh, I mean it's taken the sound away. That's new. Uh maybe maybe some things were just always meant to be uh unknown. So I want it to hit the right number of uh, memory locations without it. Uh, yeah, but one day, one day. It was really weird because we had the life counter and everything up on the top of the screen. But as soon as I pressed the jump button, because that causes the um, the intro uh, the intro animation to end, it ended. So we didn't get to enjoy it. And similarly, like, because I had to hold down... A jump button in order to rewind as soon as we rewind back to it it would cause us to jump out of it immediately so okay i got to see oh whoa look at that okay well this is a weird state so that was writing 40 to 1144 <laughs> <laughs> Fetal position Sonic. He's decided he just can't deal with this game anymore and just wants to curl up into a ball. Oh, but it's like, okay, so he went back to normal when he landed there, but as soon as he goes, oh, he goes onto the slope and he breaks. Hmm. Okay, his physics have gone really weird. Really weird now. Because he, he's doing some... It's hard to explain, but he's become kind of slippery in a really odd way. Like, he will continue to have momentum when you expect him to slow down, and then kind of slow down on a dime. It's... it's really quite odd. How do I... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Sweet release. <laughs> oh, Sunset Park Act... Hieroglyph. Oh, that's frozen. Let's go back. Will it load anything? I don't think it will. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm, okay, I... I think I... Oh, I got to Act 3! Robotnik Winter Act 1. This is progress. I seem to actually be in this level. Until the level dies.
Right, so we've got 1147 to 1145 seem to deal with game state. <laughs> the ring countdown is causing all kinds of stuff. Uh, everyone, I think this is time for me to wind down, but this has been a really fun stream. So thank you so much, all of you, for... What what was Knuckles doing there? And that emerald is just, just hanging out now. Yeah, this has been a really fun stream. So thank you all so much. I'm going to post uh, uh, the link to the magic box, which is what I call this uh, creation, um, into the chat. Um, so yeah, the Twitch stuff, I'll probably... Um, Within the next hour, a half hour or something, that's going to go up. Um, so it'll say version 15. Um, and um, But if you do want to, like, yeah, keep an eye out for what other wacky stuff I might be doing. Uh, we'll just enjoy Sonic turning into magical things. Um yeah, uh, I've forgotten what I was saying. But basically, yeah, yeah, this will all go up uh, on the website um, in about an hour. There is a version already up there. It should be version 14, version 15. We'll have all this stuff. Um, and just, uh, just a word of explanation. There's two things on there. So it'll talk about, um, on the website, it talks about installation instructions for the emulator. And then there's installation instructions for um, the um networked versus thing which i'll update to say network versus in twitch because it's actually it's the same application uh that you'll need to run for both network play and twitch play um but hopefully that explains it all thank you all so much you've all been really fun thank you for participating and taking part in this and making this a whole lot of fun because it yeah it's it's been absolutely wild um and yeah, I will probably come back and do more of this, but like basically everyone go out there and make magic. I this is uh I'm I'm really excited to see what kind of weird stuff people find in this. So anywho, um thank you all so much. Um oh, you're welcome. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um and it's always uh excellent. <laughs> yes, torture your friends. That's what I'm all about. That's uh that is my modus operandi. Uh, make everyone torture their friends. Um, yeah. Have yourselves a lovely day, a lovely evening, a lovely morning, wherever you are. Um, and um, yeah, look after yourselves, look after each other, and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>